it's, a, it's interesting to see how um, one's thoughts about the size of a particular company and the profit level of a particular company are today versus what the company can achieve in the future. And that's really uh, what's so interesting about investing. It's it requires a bit of imagination to think about what's the real size and importance of, the, of a specific company three to five to ten years from today. And that's what's uh, so interesting about it. Now, uh, you're focused on uh, frontier markets, emerging markets. So give us a sense of even define for us what these terms mean. They're often used, but what, what do they really mean to you? And uh, where do you focus uh, in this uh, very large opportunity set of various countries uh, with different uh, uh, cultures, uh, different stages of economic development, political systems? How do you make sense of it and where do you see the best investment opportunities? Sure. Um, the way, best way to start is to think of um, frontier market countries as countries that are the next step to emerging market countries. So, you know, the big emerging markets are the BRICS. Um, but then the frontier markets are the next step in the sense that um, uh, MSCI, the um, Morgan Stanley Capital International, comes out with an index. And that's a rough place to start. That's a good place to start. There's about 26 countries in there. And the big ones, uh, the big uh, market value uh, capitalization ones, are in um, parts of Africa. And the biggest ones are in the Middle East as well. So um, that's a good place to start, but the places that I'm interested in are, uh, are such interesting places as Vietnam, uh, Mongolia, uh, Botswana, uh, Nigeria, and Abu Dhabi. Um, many of these countries have um, levels of macroeconomic risk that are very acceptable. Uh, for example, uh, Abu Dhabi puts out, uh, what people don't understand about it is that uh, they put out about 2.5, 2.6 million barrels of oil a day. And they are coming out of a banking crisis. And um, that creates unique opportunities to, uh, for uh, my investors and myself to do well, investing in these on a three to five year uh, time frame. So, you know, traveling around to see uh, all sorts of interesting companies that are doing interesting things is, is great. And I, I just find that those markets are kind of the road less traveled. And those are usually opportunities. Uh, I'm certainly seeing them now.